Let us perform some more activities to find out the differences between solids, liquids and gases. Activity 1. Collect some solids like wood, stone, iron, tin and rubber. Observe their shape. Now keep them at different places. Do you find any change in their shape at different places? This shows that all solids have a definite shape. Activity 2 Take some water in a bottle. Observe the shape of water. Look, the shape of water is like that of the bottle. Pour this water into a glass. Again, observe the shape of water. Now, water has taken the shape of glass. This shows that liquids do not have a definite shape. They occupy the shape of the container. Activity 3 Like liquids, gases also do not have a definite shape. They take the shape of the place in which they are present. For example, air in a bottle takes the shape of the bottle. If you fill air into a cycle tube, it takes the shape of cycle tube. Or, if you fill air into a balloon, it takes the shape of a balloon. Activity 4 Let us perform another activity to know that gases flow faster than liquids. Take two balloons of equal sizes. Blow air into one of the balloons and tie its neck. Fill water in the second balloon and tie its neck. See that both the balloons are of same size. Now, loosen their necks at the same time. Air and water moves out of the balloons. Note which balloon becomes empty first. You will see that the balloon filled with air gets empty first. This is because air rushes out of the balloon faster than water. Thus, all gases flow faster than liquids. Activity 5 Let us perform one more activity to find the difference between gases and liquids. Burn an incense stick or agarbatti in one corner of a room. You can smell the smoke coming out. Now go to the other corner. You can smell the agarbatti here also. This is because the smoke or gases flow and can expand to fill the space available. Activity 6 Take two glasses of different sizes, one big and other small. Fill the small glass full with water. Now, pour this water into a bigger glass. Does the water fill the bigger glass completely? This shows that liquids do not expand. A given quantity of liquid always takes up the same amount of space. 